was just thinking this in my head. <laughs> okay. Shoddy, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, Shoddy, I don't mind if you dance on a pole. That don't make you a hoe. <laughs> they missed that rhyme. Okay. Shoddy, I don't mind when you work until three if you're leaving with me. Go make that money, money, money. Your money, money, money. Tried half of it. I guess I'll say, obviously, she's a stripper. He doesn't care, but he seems to not care because she's making money and there's a lack of lyrics and, and said the word money a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is an Usher song. I'm not sure. But I feel like this is him trying to like say, I don't really care what your career choice is. It doesn't affect who you are as a person, you know? Like, just because, because you know, if you dance on a pole, I'm, you know, like a pole dancer, like, that doesn't mean you're home. It means you just have, you just have a job that you enjoy doing, and it doesn't reflect on, like, who you are. Like, and even if you were a whole, like, how is that bad? Ugh. I, that's a slut shaming, and I hate that, but let me just finish reading. I'll, I'll, I'll probably talk about that later. Because I know how it is going to handle your biz, and get that money, 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 your money, money, money. You can take off your clothes as long as you come in home. Girl, I don't mind. I see what the point is. Like, to me, this is like, you know, everyone works for their money, but this is just a different way of, like, working for it. You only have a thing for a stripper, but I don't see why, you know, he would go out and, you know, make a song in particular about this. That's just weird to me because why would you be okay with that? Even though she does like go back home with you, she's still out dancing for a whole bunch of other people. I think it's a weird song because I mean, but I feel like people like bash strippers and stuff, which I mean, it's not good, but like it's like there's that kind of like some people's like only way to like make money which I don't think you should sell your body for it but at the same time I'm like kind of like pro pro like do what you want or whatever so but I mean I guess the song is kind of like in a way it's positive but at the same time I don't think he should be okay with her like doing it I feel like he's talking like it's like their job and he doesn't really care on her, like her lifestyle like care as long as she's coming home with him. coming home with money too like don't come home unless you have money yeah the ballers in here tonight they go and buy a hundred bottles as soon as you shake it I know they gonna make it colossal in here I don't even know what that means when you shake it it's gonna be colossal okay because shawty you think in them tricks that you do with your body Got all these oh I'm not even gonna say it but you know yeah they're crowding around you like they seen Beyonce in here because Beyonce is God you want your own and you need your own baby who am I to judge so how can I ever trip out about it when I met you in the club I make enough for the both of us but you dance anyway you know how I how I was raising the egg I don't really know what to say about this one but it's like, I don't know, he just tries to like put her or put her in a position, you know, that the way that she like, she moves her body, you know, makes all the guys fall head over heels, but you know, the guys are probably just wanting in for her body, trying to like, subject it to, you know, being a sex object. So maybe he's like referring to her as a sex object, you know, in for using her to actually get to know her and all that. So, that makes me think that when they go to the strip club or whatever, that they're going to be, you know, just buying bottles and being with these random girls, but also taking them home and stuff. Yeah, he like finds her to be like the baddest one because he like says that everybody like comes around her and treats her like Beyonce. But still doesn't care that she's yeah. a stripper. When you get off work, I'll be ready to go in the Rari. And when we get home, we'll have us our own private party in here. What's it with them making a rhyme and then saying in here afterwards to ruin the rhyme? So I don't worry at all about the things they do or say. I love you anyway. I like the, the love you anyway part. It's nice. You can twerk it while you, while you, <laughs> you can twerk it while in a split. 
You're racking up them tips. Your body, your body rock and your booty popping. I'm proud to call you my bitch. That's disrespectful. They be looking, but they can't touch you, shoddy. I'm the only one to get it. So just go ahead and keep doing what you do. Do it. Like, I don't know, I feel like if you're in a relationship and you do stuff like that, like, that's, like, for that person only. So, like, he shouldn't be okay with, like, them seeing her doing it, because... But he's basically saying, like, oh, it's okay, like, I don't care if they see you naked. But I feel like he should be like, yo, we should stop this, because this isn't working. I can see it. So, like, even though she's a stripper, he's, like, still wants to, like, take her home and, like, be with her and he, like, loves her anyways. Because, like, she's a stripper, but they don't, like, necessarily, like, touch her. Because, like, that's just his. Which is, I guess, a good thing. In a way. But I just don't, you know, I, d I don't understand, you know, why he has to stoop to, like, saying calling her my bitch. I'm like, you know, no one's really, you know, anyone's bitch. I'm like, they can be, like, they can, like, coexist with each other. But they can't be, you know, subjected to one another or have complete dominance. I'm like, people have their own free will. And, you know, I just think, like, that phrase right there is kind of disrespectful. I kind of feel like this is, they're implying that the only way a girl can make money, a lot of money, is by stripping the club. I'm just trying to cut her up, trying to bust her up. That's disgusting. Trying to take somebody bitch, turn her to a slut, trying to fill my cup, trying to live it up. Trying to take somebody's bitch, turn her to a slut? Take somebody else's girl and like... Okay. Throw some hundreds on that ass. I believe you should use singles in a strip club. Saves your money. Walk her out the club. Yeah, a whole lap dance for the first date, but I threw a few bands, that's third base. It's okay if you work late, we can still party like it's your birthday. We can still party hard in your birthday suit. Knock that <laughs> out the park like my name, Babe Ruth. Shoddy just want a tip, I just want to see your strip. If you feel like you love me, Shoddy, you might get rich. Have her own cake, her own place, blow her own gas, no roll. When we in bed, she would... She liked to role play, tell her friends to join in both ways. All right. Yep. <laughs> that one happened. What do you guys think this song is about in general? Like a stripper. Strippers. From the dance on the pole and the um, uh, hey, uh, walk her out the club, I'm going to do the assumption that it's about strip clubs or gentlemen's clubs. It is about Shoddy. Shoddy is a stripper and Usher loves Shoddy even though she strips and shows other people her lady bits. What are your personal thoughts about the song in general? It's a good song. I mean, there are some parts that are like, oh, catchy, but this well, part, this is um, pretty nasty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't like it. I mean, I think it's... No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. I feel like that's, you know, when you see an issue in the media about, you know, like racism or homophobia, like that's so much more obvious, you know? Because things like this, this is sexism, but it, it's so normalized and it's so... And I think that's why a lot of people don't take it seriously is because they don't realize that it's everywhere. Like once you open your eyes to it, like once your eyes get wetter to society, you're going to realize how much of our society is built off of sexism. Do you know the title of the song and the artist? I want to say money? Yeah, Usher, I don't mind. I don't mind by Usher. Yeah, Jane Usher. Jane CJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the Babe Ruth thing, but that might have been a, like, a Nicki Minaj song. <laughs> This song is called I Don't Mind and it's by Usher featuring Juicy J. Okay. So I have some quotes from an article that I found. The author of the article is Evan Crandell and he says, says that while it's right when Usher says if you dance on a pole that'll make you a hoe, it would be nice if a megastar like Usher would spend his efforts highlighting reasons for loving someone beyond just sex. Do you agree yes. with that? I also agree with that. I feel like, isn't Usher getting old anyway? should love people for things other than sex. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna make this song and they should have like they should have stuck with the whole like it's not like you're not a hoe. But they kinda went from like you're not a hoe to like you are a hoe, but you're my hoe. Mm -hmm. So like I think if they would have like kept it going with like 
hey, you might do this, but it doesn't make, like, it doesn't, like, define you as a person, then that would have been better than, like, you might do hoish things, but you're not a hoe, but you're my hoe. And then I have a tweet from Usher. He was doing uh, question responses from fans. And a fan tweeted if he was surprised by all the success that I Don't Mind has had. And he said that he was not surprised at all. And it was intended to be a fun song. And he's happy that people enjoy it. Do you think that it's a fun song? Yeah. Like listening to it and everything? Yeah. Okay. You listen to it, you get the, like, I personally think it's supposed to be like an upbeat song. And I mean, like, again, like, like I say, like, this isn't one of the songs that I've heard, like, that I listen to for the lyrics. Like, when I hear it come on the radio, I'm mostly focused on the beat and, like, the background. Mm -hmm. I don't think you realize, I don't think a lot of people realize what the message of the song is. I think, you know, sure it's a fun song, but I, you know, when you think, like, how I was looking at it, and such, like, like, I'm like, deeper level, like on what the song means level, I guess, which a lot of people do, you know. I just thought about, wow, it's kind of nice to hear someone praising a woman for doing what she wants and owning her sexuality for once, rather than calling her a slut or a bitch or a hoe, you know. So, yeah, it is a fun song, but, you know, I guess that she just kind of did, uh, took a step in the right direction without knowing it, so. And then, finally, um, do you believe that there is a problem with sexism? Absolutely. In 21st century hip-hop and rap music. Absolutely. <laughs> do you think there is a way we can fix it? Um, I don't really, I don't think there's a way to fix it. I think that it's just always going to be how it is, especially like rapping because most rap is drugs, women, money. Like. When you kind of think of rap, that's automatically what you think of, and that's how people have it in their brains, that if they have to rap, they have to rap a certain way. So I think it's just always going to be like that. I don't really know, because I feel like they're just going to keep doing what they want to do. Like, they don't really care about what they say. I feel like it's just getting worse and worse, or like they, yeah, since there's, there's already no so many filter. songs Now like there's that, like no filter like to what they're saying. They think that it's, they think okay, it's okay, so so it's just gonna, I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. And they probably think if they do stop it, then no one's gonna like their songs, Let, and that's basically what they talk yeah, about. Yeah, and like likely like they bleep out like what people are, like what, like certain words in, like on the radio, but people still know like what you're saying, and like. People can stop being sexist. That would be nice, and to be honest, uh, because I, well, yeah, people could stop being sexist, but then, for example, all about that bass. I'm going to bring that up real quick. That, a lot of people, you know, praise that for being such a good message, but at the same time, it has parts that aren't the best message, because yes, she's saying it's all right to be overweight. You don't have to be a Victoria's Secret model in size, you know, but at the same time, she's saying, what, that, like, she's shaking her ass because she has to. I I don't know the lyrics, but I feel like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Saying even though you're larger, you're still supposed to shake your ass for men. Uh, it would take everybody either getting really mad at songs like this or just more just probably like Macklemore just actually coming out and being like, hey, this is the real world and people are, you shouldn't be bad to them. So I guess maybe just more better artists to uh, kind of kick these guys more out of the mainstream music. Well, if if there can be anything to do to fix it, it would either be the person would have to like change like the lyrics completely, or they would have to do a whole different type of song about a different type of subject. You know, I think there is, and I think it's just gonna start with awareness. You know, once people become aware of what they're doing and quit worshiping and praising these artists that make such misogynistic music you know the first one that come to my, my comes to my mind it was Eminem because you know when I he you know he's just in my opinion I don't I've listened to a lot of Eminem you know and it's just like and he you think about everybody else who listened to Eminem Eminem is very popular and think about how what his music says you know what is that telling especially like the young men who listen what is that telling young men about how to treat women you know